There's an old Irish proverb that translates as, continuous weathering eventually wears the rock. And God knows the Irish coastline has taken a right old hammering, particularly over the last couple of years. So the big question is, what are the Irish doing to help themselves? I've come to find out. To me, Jimmy, it looks like a swimming pool. It uh, smells like a swimming pool, but it ain't a swimming pool, no? No, it isn't. What we're standing beside here is the Ocean Test Laboratory here in UCC. So we have a paddle generation system here at the side of the tank and we run waves down the tank and test the reaction of different wave and wind energy devices to those waves. The waves Jimmy and his team generate aren't very large, but they are to scale and this allows researchers to safely examine how the energy generated by this kind of storm swell can be safely and harmlessly dissipated by something like these ECAB blocks. Well, I suppose what we're trying to represent is a typical situation on a beach, you know, where you'd, you'd have the sand up against the dune face and covering some of the armour units. But then, when you get a severe storm condition, you get higher water levels and you get waves able to attack the dune system. And, you know, the waves come in and they catch the sand and they pull it out. Most of these units that you see here will be covered with sand the majority of the time. But then when you, you get a storm condition, the sand is washed away and the armour units will do their job. What's the scale here? How big are the other ones by comparison? It's one is the 30. One is the 30? Yeah. So in effect, well, that looks like a gently lapping piece of water. Yeah, right, it represents yeah. very big waves, very that's stormy right, conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's sucked all the sand out? That's right, yeah. It's amazing, you know, once the, the sand you know, sort of is, is attacked by waves, even very small waves, it's pulled out very easily. It has very little resistance to movement. See the waves coming in, but you can see how they're being absorbed, and like from this position you can see exactly how they just go blah, 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 yeah, out, yeah, out. Yeah. Takes all the energy out. Yeah, that's a critical part of the design of them, to make the energy dissipate in through the structure, rather than on the surface of the structure itself. And, and how well have these performed now overall? These performed excellently, you know, we can't generate a wave big enough to cause these to fail. So there's some hope for the villages now exposed to the sea by Ross Bay's shifting sand dunes. And indeed, all across the West Coast, where many communities are still recovering from the storms of 2014. I suppose like most people, I subscribe to the idea of nature taking its own course, and I can't